Hey all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial to teach you how to deploy your own custom TensorFlow or Keras model into React Native. Okay, so the question is why do you want to deploy your model which works perfectly on your laptop on React Native? So there are three reasons. First is really for accessibility. By deploying your model on React Native, give you access to both Google Play Store and Apple App Store. So you will have access to billions of users that can use your model instantly with their mobile phones. And next is decentralized processing because they are able to use your model on their mobile device. So it doesn't require any connection to a server to process and digest the data in order to produce certain prediction of results. And lastly, because you are deploying your model on a mobile phone, you have access to many sensors on the phone like cameras, GPS, accelerometer, and so on. So there will be a lot of mobile use cases for you to develop. Okay, so before I continue with the tutorial, here are some of the prerequisites that you should have for both Python and React Native. So for this tutorial, uh, I'll be using my old program, which is my mass detection algorithm that I've done a video on it before. So if you want to know how it works, you can check out my channel to find the video. So for Python, make sure that you have all these things installed and you can access my code over here. By going to my GitHub link, you'll be able to see all the source code and just by clicking this button, you'll be able to download it to your PC. So next, you need to download all these packages for React Native. Uh, so for myself, I'm using React Native with Expo. So here is the React Native code. So I have deployed the mask detection model on the React Native environment already. So you can actually download the code and deploy it. Okay, so all the links will be available down the description box below. So do remember to check them out. So now, how to deploy your own custom TensorFlow or Keras model to React Native? So there are mainly three steps. First, you need to convert your Python model into JavaScript. And next, you need to combine the model weights. And lastly, you can then continue to deploy your model on React Native. So let's go through the first part first to convert your model from Python to JavaScript. So to convert the Python model to JavaScript, you must first train the model, save it as .h5 file over here, and lastly convert the model. And after conversion, you will get two files. First is the .json file, and next is the .binary file over here. Okay, so to train your model on Python, you can use my mass detection script. So let me open up my IDE and go to that script. So after opening up, go to the train underscore mass underscore detector dot py file. So when you scroll all the way down, you'll be able to see the training code over here. So model.feed will actually train your model to detect whether this person is wearing a mask or not. So after training your model, you need to save it. So to save your model is very simple. It's just uh, one line of code, model.save, the model path and the extension, which is .h5. So if you go back to your script, you'll be able to see this line of code over here. So after running everything, you can press run. Okay, so after running the code, you'll be able to see under the model folder, you'll be able to see this mask underscore model dot h5. So by seeing this, you have successfully trained your mask detection model. And now we are ready to convert this into a JavaScript model. So how to do this? Let's go back to the slides. Okay, so to convert your Python model into JavaScript format, it's very simple. You just go to Anaconda prom. So you just type Anaconda prom. Activate your environment. So now uh, let's copy this line of code over here. Okay, so next you need to go to this border path, copy this path, okay, and paste it in. So I'm going to do a backslash and type the file name that I want to convert. So it's mass underscore model dot h5 so now i need to specify which folder i want to save it into i will save it into the same folder over here so once you are done you just press enter 
and it will take some time to convert okay so you can see that there's no error message that means you have successfully converted your model so let's open this thing up and you'll be able to see the h5 file over here which you won't be using for this tutorial so the one that you'll be using is the binary file over here and the model.json file over here so now let's go back to the slides so now we need to combine all the binary file into one mega binary file as shown over here so how are we going to do this so we are going to use our favorite command prompt and copy and paste this code in so what does this code tell you is to combine these three files which is here into one file which is named as group one dash shard dot binary so how to do this let's go to our command prompt okay so cd back to the folder itself so now we just need to copy this and paste it here okay so once it's done when you go back to your folder over here you'll be able to see this group one dash shard dot binary so this is a combination of all these files into one so you can actually add all this size together and you'll get this total size so now you can delete away these four files what you really need is just two files which is the group one dash shard dot binary file and next is the model dot json file so now let's go back to the slides again so now let's deploy the model to react native so we need to load two files into react native which is the dot json file and the dot binary file so first what we need to do is to copy the border dot json file and the binary file into the asset folder so so for this tutorial you can either create your own uh, react native project or you can download from my github repository which is available down in the description box below so for for this i will go to my project folder so this is my project so i'm going to copy and paste it into my assets folder so what i need to do is to create a new folder called model okay so i click it in so now i'm going to go back to my mask detection folder over here and copy and paste it into my assets folder so after doing so now you need to create a file called metro.config.js so for this open up your visual studio so for here at your root directory create a new file called metro.config.js so after creating this you just copy and paste this code into the js folder okay so once you are done uh, click save and last but not least now is to deploy your js model to react native so to do this make sure you have all these libraries import so to load your model we'll be calling the .json file over here and the .binary file over here and next after your model has been loaded to get the prediction is as simple as calling the model and dot predict the array so let's go back to the visual studio and see how it's being called so i have designed it i have programmed it in the app.js folder so you can see over here there's this loop model function so the first thing you can do is to ensure that your tensorflow module is ready so you put this in so after it's ready you can call and load your model by using this bundle resource io function and after which this is the loading of a model to do prediction is over here so it's where i predict whether this person is wearing a mask or not so if the person is wearing a mask there will be a green box around him if not it will be a red box so now allow me to demonstrate how the program works first start the app you will be presented with this lady's photo so you just need to click predict and the model will run and see whether this person is wearing a mask or not if this person is not wearing a mask it will be the box will be red let's say if i change this image to another image over here so when i click predict 
since this person is wearing a mask it should show a green box so with this i have successfully deployed my python model into react native so with this thank you for your time i hope you enjoy this tutorial thank you